Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio up here. This time we're demonstrating a, uh, a Chrysler AM A-Track out of a 1970 Barracuda. This comes from Scott in Brighton, Michigan. Thank you so much, Scott, for your business from halfway across the country. Uh, Scott has requested the modern FM conversion with Bluetooth, so we're here to make sure it all works before we send her back. So I've got it set to uh, the one strong AM station I get at the moment. Let's turn it on physical gold in silver. There's now, we AM, so we're going to check our balance and fader controls. We educate our clients on how to buy okay. gold and silver the right way. Balance left. We don't pay celebrity spokespeople balance millions right. of dollars. We'd rather pass left. that value on to right. you. Call 800 okay, 900 and speak okay, with and Okay, we also have, now we have a virtual front rear fader that's in the tone control. Uh, you do that by rotating your tone control upwards twice. 800 900 8000 Adjust. Okay, and now the same control the is adjusting your front rear speaker balance. This is all done the with the tone value. control. Call advantage all the way gold rear, 800, 900, front, 8, Call 800, rear. 900, okay, I'm going to center them. Advantage Gold is not an investment advisor or a tax advisor. Fader. Fader set. Okay, let's make sure the Bluetooth goes into pairing mode. Bluetooth ready to okay, so we know the Bluetooth is working. Let's uh, go to FM. I have all five presets set to stations in my area. We don't need this stuff anymore. So to go between AM and FM, if it doesn't have an AM, FM switch, is to turn it off and then right back on within about half half a second. So here we go. Off, on. Okay, now we're on FM. And we'll just run through all five of the presets. We need that. Look at 525. Five. Mark Kelly. Okay, so there's that. that okay, the let's try the A-Track. Got some Neil Sedaka here. Now on the on these Chrysler models, the black face Chrysler, you kind of have to press it pretty hard on this side because that's where it engages the uh, the solenoid and switch that hold it in. So here we go. Okay, and then on this unit, we pull on the plunger to eject the tape, and then you can pull it out. And we got our radio back. Let's test our dial lamp, make sure that works. Okay, you can't see it, but I can, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Oh, and then one other thing I'll mention, too. On a lot of these Chrysler units, the, the plunger is missing. Uh, and I do have a replacement plunger, but it has a different thread pitch, so I have to also uh, fabricate a new receptacle for that plunger. So, uh, so now we've got a track change eject plunger. You pu you push it to change tracks. You pull on it to uh, eject the tape, and it, it doesn't actually spit it out, uh, but it loosens it so you can grab onto it. So that takes care of that. And I'm Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio up here, and you've just seen what I can do to an old AM A Track. I can add FM. Bluetooth, USB reader, HD radio, and who knows what else by the time you're ready to do business. So uh, my website is in the description below. I do ask all customers to visit my website and print out a work order before calling me with a 15-minute bunch of questions because uh, once you get on the website and print out a work order, that will answer at least 95% of your questions. And that way, if you need to call me, you, you only take me off the bench for a couple minutes instead of 20 or 30 minutes. So uh, thanks so much for watching and listening. Thank you, Scott, for your business all the way from Brighton, Michigan. And we'll see you guys next time.